Attorneys for the family of cinematographer Helena Hutchins today announced a wrongful death lawsuit months after the deadly shooting on the Rust movie set. You're watching Eyewitness News at 1130. We're live on ABC7, Hulu Live, and wherever you stream. I'm Philip Palmer. And I'm Joe Bonalotta. Attorneys accuse Alec Baldwin and the Rust film production of disregarding over a dozen industry standards. Today, they released an animated video recreating what they believe happened on set. Eyewitness News reporter Tony Cabrera is live in the newsroom with the latest developments on this lawsuit. Tony. Philip Giovanna, the allegations come from lawyers representing both the husband and nine-year-old son of Helena Hutchins, the cinematographer who was killed on set nearly four months ago. Today, they filed a wrongful death death lawsuit. In a press conference this morning, lawyers showed a video recreating the scene using animation. Although we won't show it all, the animation goes through everything from the gun being handed to Alec Baldwin, him firing the gun, and Hutchins falling to the ground. Lawyers claim it's based on evidence, witness statements, and emails. The video also explains why they believe Alec Baldwin and others are responsible for safety on site and why they believe their reckless conduct and cost-cutting led to her death. They point to accidental discharges of weapons on set, workers quitting in protests beforehand, and Baldwin allegedly disregarding at least 15 industry standards. There are regulations and guidelines in place today that should prevent something like this from happening, but they need to be enforced. And had they been followed, this never would have happened. This is so rare that somebody would be shot on a scene when they're lensing it, there's nothing, there's no supposed to be live ammunition. It never should have happened. Never. Since the beginning, Baldwin has said he is not responsible, that he did not pull the trigger. He said he would never point a gun at anyone and pull the trigger, saying he has no idea how the live bullet got on set. Today's wrongful death lawsuit now allows the family's lawyers to serve subpoenas, take depositions, and other actions to build their case. This lawsuit joins a growing list of cases that have been filed, many also targeting Baldwin and the production team. We're also still waiting on the district attorney's office in Santa Fe for any criminal filings. Live in the newsroom, Tony Cabrera, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.